Germany's Sano Motors aims to use solar power to extend this EV's range by an average of 112 kilometers a week. The Netherlands Lightyear One claims the Sun can add around 7 kilometers of range to a car each hour it's parked. Lightyear One solar-powered vehicles cost around $175,000. How much price do I pay for how much mileage? So if you're spending $140,000 to get a solar-powered car, that's kind of ridiculous that only goes such short mileage compared with a car that is not solar-powered but gets, let's say, four or 500 miles. Inside the headquarters of San Diego startup Aptera, EV solar-powered vehicles are being built with a radical three-wheel design. Aptera says its EV can go 1,600 kilometers on a single charge and get 64 kilometers or 40 miles of charge per day purely from the sun. It really does start with aerodynamics. If you have an efficient vehicle platform, you can do a lot of cool things like have a very long range vehicle or power it with the sun. But if we try to put the same solar panel that's on the top of this vehicle onto say a Prius or a Tesla, you would get only eight or 10 miles of solar charge range per day. Aptera recently formed a strategic partnership with Chinese automaker Sherry to share its supply chain. Nobody has done what Aptera has uh, been doing, which is uh, utilizing the solar energy to charge the vehicle. For Asia Pacific, this is a very really big deal. Over the past decade, the cost of solar panels has dropped dramatically. At the same time, solar cell efficiency has gone way up. Despite this, there are only a handful of solar-powered car makers at most. I think that there is really not enough area over a car surface or even a bus surface to gather enough energy from the sun to completely power that vehicle for, you know, what typical uses that we see. Burford believes the best fit for solar is public transportation. He and his teams have used modeling tools to prove the viability of the Spartan Superway, a five kilometer transportation system that would use solar energy to power a network of six passenger automated vehicles known as pod cars. Because we have these captive guideways that are elevated above the roadway and they're covered with a canopy that's somewhere around seven, eight meters wide over the whole length of this guideway and at the stations, it's feasible. We can collect enough energy to run the thing. But when fitting solar panels onto private vehicles, the form factor must change dramatically. There are three wheels or a four wheel quadricycle or a tricycle, but Americans don't buy these vehicles right now. When people think about this three wheeler, they think, oh, you know, is this too unique for the marketplace? Is it too niche? But we've received pre orders faster than you know, the, the Rivians and the Lucids of the world. We have over 17,000 orders for the vehicle today. Aptera aims to go into production at the end of the year. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.